Let's look back at today's healthcare from 2050. This is Bertalan Meshko, and you're watching the channel of the Medical Futurist. A lot of people ask me questions about the future of medicine and healthcare. What's coming next? What about the future of radiology, genomics or health sensors? They asked me to, to make really sharp predictions. This device will come out in this exact year. But instead of this, let's do something else now. Let's look back from 2050 and see what today's healthcare included. What barbaric elements uh, played an important role in today's healthcare in the years 2010s? Let's see some of these. So back then, in the 2010s years, we had to go to huge hospitals to access information and to measure parameters about our own health. We had to use big radiology devices instead of just small digital tattoos. Uh, we had blockbuster drugs, drugs manufactured for millions of people instead of getting a drug in a specified dosage for my own molecular and genetic background. There were waiting times for doctors and patients, there were doctor shortages, areas where there is no doctor at all. Um, there were clinical trials that cost billions of dollars and, and it took at least a decade to go through a trial so then a drug can be accepted instead of just doing virtual clinical trials like we do today. Uh, infections in hospitals were quite common. Epidemiology was absolutely slow, not using really uh, smart digital solutions. They, there were clinical laboratories where you had to go to get uh, your blood markers measured or your blood, blood taken, uh, instead of just uh, with one drop of blood measuring any kind of uh, blood markers and parameters. Cancer was a dramatic life event. Instead of just being a chronic disease or a bump in the life, we had paper medical records back then. We had ambulance cars, not drones like today, that can deliver the right equipment to the right people in seconds. There was health insurance without measuring health parameters and data. Uh, it was really not uh, efficient and successful. Hospitals were run by managers, not supercomputers, not smart algorithms. Patients were ordered to take a drug instead of uh, dealing with them as equal partners in the care. And the work of physicians was really unquantifiable. The success rates were not available. And these are just a few examples. Uh, we need to be really brave now when imagining the future and we work hard to fulfill these goals. We need to make sure that the future of healthcare is based on the human touch, is based on the partnership between patients and their caregivers, and is based on technology that can give us the absolute best success rates, the best treatments, and still the best care when it comes to people. Please come up with your own ideas looking back from 2050 at today's healthcare and share those in the comment section. Thank you.